What's poppin' people? I want to show you one of my new favorite OBS Studio plugins that I've found. If you've watched my other video about trying to jump between like video sources and whatnot by using the automatic scene switcher, you'll know that that way it works, but it's also a pain in the butt because then you end up having to have different scenes specifically for the source. And I've actually found a plugin now to where you can just have one scene and it will jump between the sources and I love it so freaking much. All right, now let me show you how to install the plugin. It's extraordinarily easy. So I already have it extracted and everything right there. Now let's open up our OBS Studio folder, which is more than likely installed on the C drive by default, unless you put it somewhere, then you'll need to find it and put it there. Now, you're noticing data and OBS plugins sort of like mimicking the hierarchy. Whatever is in this needs to be going in there. So we'll just move this over, continue, we'll go over OBS plugins, so now let's just go back, OBS plugins, 64-bit, 64-bit, move that over, and there we go. So now that's all it is. Now let me show you how to work it. Okay, now this is pretty easy, just add it like any other source, hit the plus button, go to source switcher, name it what you want. Now you'll add the sources by clicking the plus button. Sadly, there isn't a list. You have to type the name of the source. Do that, and then we're gonna add the webcam, the 922. Make sure we have time switch set. Oops, there we go. Now it's set to 5,000 milliseconds. Obviously, you can make it faster, you can make it slower. The switch too, you can have a little bit more control as to what's going on with it. There's also the media state switch, so that's sort of if-then statements. And then the transition right here and only keep that on cut. That's the only one that seems to work for me. This is still like a work in progress as it seems. The other ones worked for other people, but I've reinstalled Windows multiple times. And it's just never worked for me. So I don't know what the deal is. I'm hoping the developer goes through and he actually finishes it. He was actually talking a lot in the OBS forums. And then all of a sudden he just like sort of disappeared. So I'm hoping he's okay. So, I mean, that's really it. It's working here. It just jumps between the two video sources for every 5,000 milliseconds. But yeah, that's it. There's not much to it. Let me know if you have any issues other than the transitions, of course. And don't forget that we have a Discord now, and we're always posting cool stuff in there. It's like, lately, the Epic Game Store has always given away free games, so we're making sure that we're posting what games are being given out for free and all that fun stuff. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.